Right, this is top 20 vintage t-shirts I found this year, 2019. Um, but there are 24 of them because I threw in uh, four extra ones, uh, which are like miscellaneous. Cup, two of them are branded. One I found last year and then one was my dad's. I just thought it was cool and I thought I'd throw it in. All these t-shirts I found in 2019, I all found them this year. Um, Basically, I haven't sold them. I think I've sold like two, which are like cool t-shirts to friends who like them. Uh, but I haven't sold them because I'm still really learning the t-shirt market. And personally, I don't think there's much of one in the UK. It's more of a US thing. Um, but there are, there are sellers like Burned Out, T-Jerker. They have a market for it. Uh, they have a following that they can sell to, whereas I don't. Uh, I just have my Depop, which is basically just sportswear that I sell. My Depop on Instagram, I'll put it down here. Go and follow it. Ryan Spines, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. Also, like the video and subscribe if you're new here. Um, but yeah, we'll get into the video. All of these t-shirts I found this year, and I basically just had them in storage, and I think they're just really cool. We'll go through them all. We'll start from this end, and then just work our way through. Um, all the ones on wooden hangers, they're ones that I personally wear, and then all the others have just been in a box in storage. So that's why they're all sort of not really ironed and all a bit crumpled up, but we'll get into it and show them all. All of these t-shirts I found at Car Boots, um, which like flea markets if you're American. And actually apart from two of them, which I'll, I'll get to you, I'll explain them when I get to them. The first one is the Barcelona Olympics 1992. I'll show it there. Really cool t-shirt. I found this one like midsummer, and I think it only cost me like 50p, which is a bargain and it's a decent size. Next, we've got the Harley Davidson. I'm not sure on the date on this one. I'll show you the tag there, if you can see it. Um, but it's definitely like a 90s one, maybe late 80s, but I reckon this is like mid 90s. That's the graphic on there, and then the back one. I also found this one. This is the one I found in the big box, and I also found it with this one, which I don't know too much information on it. Unfortunately, the tag is cut out, uh, but I know it's the mum of the Adams family, and it's just like this sort of bleach splatter effect or just how it was done but definitely a really cool t-shirt i know it's worth a decent amount of money well i think it is uh, i've had quite a few people message me and try and get it from me but i've just had everything in storage mainly for this video and because i'm still really learning about t-shirts and i don't think there's too much of a market for them still in the uk i mean there is one but it's not huge and it's definitely still more of a us thing Next, we've got this Maldives one. I think it's Maldives, yeah. Maldives is like a touristy one, but on the back, it's just got this big scene of all the animals in the sea. But it's just really cool. I think I paid a pound on that one. I found this one with the Pink Floyd t-shirt. Um, none of these are music tees. If you want to see all the music tees that I found this year, I think it's four or five videos back. I show you all the um, music and band tees that I found this year. Next, it is the Ferrari Polo. Um, it's pretty plain, but I just thought it was really cool. It's on the black best screen stars tag. Single stitch on the hem, because it's like a, it's got ringer cuffs. But I just thought it was really cool. It's like paper thin, you can see through it. And I think, again, I paid around a pound or 50p for it. I think it was at the start of the year, start of the car boot season. Next two t-shirts, I found these two together. I think I paid like a pound or one pound 50 each. And first one, London Zoo, it's like a long sleeve ringer t-shirt, really cool, it's just got these sort of lizards, yeah they're lizards, they're not chameleons or anything, London Zoo there, and then they sort of wrap round onto the back with their tails, really cool t-shirt, um, I reckon you could probably get some decent money for it if you're sort of a London based shop, like 194 local, or Dukes Cupboard, this is their sort of stuff that they probably sell for, I don't know, I don't want to say a price that they'd probably sell it for, but yeah, sick t-shirt, and then with this t-shirt, I found the Dennis the Menace one. This is like a sort of a market stall special one. Faded white tag, single stitch, uh, just Dennis the Menace, up yours, nothing on the back. Just a cool t-shirt. Unfortunately, it's really small, so it won't fit me. Next, this is probably one of my favorite tees that I've found. Unfortunately, it is not my size. It's probably like a large, but it's a Budweiser, was up tee. Um, that was very enthusiastic. Uh, but if you know what this is, just search Budweiser and search that and you'll see the commercial. I used to watch it all the time. My dad had it as like an icon on his screensaver on his computer. So every time I went to do like homework on the computer, I watched that. But yeah, I paid, 
I think I paid a pound for it really early in the year and it's just one of my favorite tees. I really need one in an XL or double XL, whatever really. But yeah, up there with one of my favorites. Moving on to the next tee. Uh, I picked this one out because it's, um, I can't think of the word for it. It's quite current, I'd say. Uh, proud to be veggie. I'm not a vegan or vegetarian or anything like that, but it's definitely sort of like a Y2K. It's on like the early 2000s, jerseys tag. Uh, it's really small size. It's probably girls. I know it's actually a kids. I probably wouldn't be able to get much money for it, but if you have a market for it, I reckon you could charge a decent amount of money for it because it's quite um, current, I'd say. That's the word for it. Yeah, current. Um, yeah, I think I paid 50p for it. Again, most of these I literally paid pennies for throughout the year. But another really cool t-shirt that I found. Next, we've got a South Park t-shirt. Um, it's on the blue screen size tag. See that tag quite often in the UK. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's dated somewhere. It's the Oh My God, They Killed Kenny. Dated to 1999. Uh, again, paid a pound for it really early in the year. Just a cool t-shirt. It is a small, but it fits quite big. Next, another really good t-shirt, Jurassic Park on the screen size tag. It's really yellowed. This one's basically dead stock. I think it's just been sat on someone's um, wardrobe for ages. I found this one with the Spice Girls t-shirt, which I showed in the music t uh, in the music video, which is like four or five videos back. Go and watch it if you haven't checked it out. Uh, this one's dated to 1992. Just that on the front, plain on the back. Next two t-shirts, I found these two together. Um, they're from a guy who cleared out an old dance school um i don't think they're from they're, don't, they're not too old obviously but i think they're like sort of mid 2000s the first one is the lord of the rings they're both sort of the plays london on the back um so i think lord of the rings came out in like 2000 2001 so they had to make a play for it so obviously it'd take a few years so i reckon it's probably around mid 2000s probably around 2005 ish upwards to around like 2010 i'm not too sure i have to do some research on it but just thought it was a really cool t-shirt. Just got Lord of the Rings there and then London on the back. And then with that one, I found the Cinderella t-shirt. This one's really worn in. It's got a really cool fade on it. Just got the Cinderella's um, heel on the front and it's got the clock on the back and Cinderella on the sleeve. Really cool t-shirt. Um, unfortunately, it's quite small. I mean, it is an XL, but it's definitely shrunk quite a bit. The next t-shirt, I just thought it was interesting more than anything. Uh, I don't know what it is, but basically it's got a topless girl on the front. You can't really see it because it's quite faded. And then on the back, it says the Banana Boys. I'm not sure if it's a play or a movie or anything like that. If you know anything about it, comment down below. It's that on the front and then Banana Boys on the back. But again, paid a pound on it and just thought it was really interesting. Next, we've got the Quake Arena. Um, I had to do some research on this one. Uh, it's basically a game on Steam. It's a computer game. It came out in 1999. And I don't know, I, I picked it up before I actually knew what it was. I just knew it was a bit old and it looked a bit interesting. But yeah, that's on the front. And then it's just got, what does it say, ID on the back. The next t-shirt, I found this one with the Cinderella and the Lord of the Rings one. Don't worry, be happy. It is dated to 1991. Really cool. Single stitch, made in the USA. It's a really nice color as well. Unfortunately, it is a size large, which has shrunk quite a bit, I think, I'd say. Uh, but I need to find one in an XL. But I really like the colour on this one, of the blue. I think it's a turquoise, but just really cool. Next, we've got the 1994 Beavers and Buttheads. I got this one sort of mid-summer. Literally paid like a pound for it, and it is one of my personal ones on the wooden hanger. Uh, I don't wear it as much as I should, but really cool t-shirt for a really good price. Next, more of a recent find that I found, I think like a couple of months ago, Liquid Blue Skulls t-shirt from 2001, I think it is. Somewhere it says 2001, pretty sure. Um, this one's in my personal collection. I don't wear it that much because it's not really my aesthetic, all skulls and that. Um, I was wearing it around the house and actually found out that it was, um, I was gonna say reflective, glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. Uh, nice touch to it. But yeah, Liquid Blue Skulls t-shirt, found it for like £2.50, £2, something like that. Next two t-shirts, I wear them a lot. First one is this black one. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but I know it's something to do with like records, vinyls and all that. Um, Date-wise, um, it's on a Gildan tag. Uh, I had a look on Instagram. If you follow him, it's Spell Out Die. He has all the tags with like the latest date that he's found t-shirts on that tag. And this one was 99, so I know it's either like 99 to like early 2000s, this t-shirt in terms of age, 
It's got a really cool fade on it. I think I paid like 50p and I wear it quite a lot. And then the next one that I wear a lot uh, is like a sort of a touristy tee. It says, in this light and text talk, that's why, I quite, that's why I like it. It says, you beware. And then on the back, I be here. And it points to, I think it's Puerto Rico or somewhere. No, no, Dominican Republic it points to. But really cool t-shirt. And it's got this really cool sort of like fading and distressing to it. Like around the globe, just has small holes all over it. Really cool t-shirt, which I wear a lot around the house. Now on to the final four t-shirts. Uh, these four, two of them I found this year. And then I'll explain these two when I get to them. First one, Ghostbusters t-shirt. I found this one last year. Um, t-shirt wise, I wasn't actually really looking for t-shirts in 2018. I was mainly just looking for branded stuff. And I went to more charity shops than car boots. But then this year I've just smashed car boots and that's my favorite thing to go to. But yeah, Ghostbusters t-shirt, found it at a charity shop. Can't remember how much I paid, probably around four pounds. That's the usual charity shop price. Um, it's dated to 1984, I think. But I think it's like sort of a, a later reprint. So it's, I think it's more of a 90s t-shirt personally, but you never know. I'll show you the tag. It's on like a USA style, I think, that tag. But yeah, just a cool t-shirt that I found last year. And then this one, I just thought I'd throw in because it's really cool and it was my dad's. It shrunk a lot. It's from the 80s. He got it in 1986. I literally just asked him just to check when, it, when he got it. I'll show you the tag. Um, it's on the screen stars. It's from a really small screen size tag. Can't really see it that well, but it has shrunk a lot. And he got it in America when he went there to train with the army. And yeah, from 1986, uh, he wore it a lot and it's really shrunk a lot. But I think it's just a really cool t-shirt basically. Airborne, death from above, just sick. Last two t-shirts. First one, I haven't worn that much, but I know I'm gonna wear it a lot in the summer. It's a uh, Yves Saint Laurent, it's one of the blue tags, so I think, I haven't found out an exact date for these ones, but I know they're like 90s tags. Just a really sick t-shirt, and definitely more of a summer one. It hasn't got much branding on it, it's just got that small low key. If you can see it, I don't think you'll be able to even see it. it just says YSL basically. No, you can't even see it. But YSL is embroidered on the bottom there. Um, I think I paid 50p for it, and I'm just gonna wear it in the summer a lot, hopefully. It's really thick, really good quality, but I haven't worn it yet. And then the final t-shirt, I actually wear this one a lot, I wear it out and about. Uh, it's a Speedo t-shirt, literally just got Speedo there, plain on the back, but made in USA. It's on one of the older tags, definitely from the 90s. I think Duke's Cover put a Speedo t-shirt up on their Instagram story and it had the exact same tag and I think it was dated to 92 around then, I think it was, I can't remember. I saw it like last week but really cool t-shirt. Again, I actually got this one with the YSL t-shirt for 50p and I wear it a lot. So that is it for top 20, but 24 uh, vintage t-shirts that I found this year. Um, if, you, if you know any, any information on some of them, please comment down below, especially this one. I wanna know more about this one. The Adams Family mum, I really don't know too much about it, but I've had like four or five people try and buy it from me, but I don't know enough to sell it. Um, and as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I think we've just gone over 900 subs, which is sick. And as well, follow the Instagram and the Depop. It'll be down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan Spines, IHRNDS, FINDS. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, not too sure when the next video will be. Probably around, probably after the new year. Um, I think we'll probably do like best finds that I've found this year. I'll have to have a look from my Instagram and see what I've actually still got, which I haven't sold. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and yeah, peace in a bit. Have a good Christmas and a new year.